Hey guys, it's Chad here. Today I'm just going to try to make a quick video showing these MFT tops that can be created in Mosaic. Uh, maybe you want to replace your top, maybe you want to make a 4x8 workbench, 3x6 workbench. So I just want to show you guys quick what you can do in Mosaic here if you want to. You can see here I have actually have a bevel on this edge. Um, that's a panel tool group. That's in the optimizer. That's going to be libraries, CSC tooling. Go to your panel tool groups. And you're going to make a new group. And I called this one MFT Top Champ for cutout. But this would be the top here. This is your edge. Get a 90 degree tool and you can just create a little relief or a little bit of a bevel there. So you can see what I did there. Uh, so that's that. If you want to do the bevel, what you would do is take a base cabinet and what I have here is I ran the base cabinet top long. Or sorry, I made it a full top and I ran the top long at unfinished ends. So make sure your ends are unfinished and that'll bring that over. And yeah, these holes can make can make things kind of slow down here a little bit. So. I'm on high detail here too, but you don't really need to be on high detail. Um, so what you do here, just go to your parts. If you just want to build the top, just uh, clear everything except for your top. And there you go. So there's that. What I've found in my measurements is if you go to 1,001 millimeter wide, 717 deep, that seems about right. I've got a couple of different measurements that seems to be a good fit. Double check your part to make sure you're getting that. Make sure there's no banding. Uh, make sure you got that right there. And yeah, that'll cut out sweep. So yeah, you can see here I have the bevel here. If you don't want that, remember I was in my in my parts, my operations here is where I added that. You can see here if I right click, I have a tool path here that I set. I selected my MFT top chamfer, and that was a perimeter tool path. Um, so you can do that by adding adding a tool path. Just going perimeter, and then going to select your tool path there. So that's how you would do that if you want to do the bevel. But what I can do here is actually, what I was trying to say is you can actually rebuild that if you don't want that. Just rebuild the part, and now that tool path will be gone. Even if it's on high detail, you wouldn't see it. So uh, another thing you could do here, let's just close out of this. Let's just say you wanted to make something bigger than just that. Here, I'll show you quick here. Um, retro MFT top, and pull it in. There it is. If you don't want to make this size bench, and let's make this bigger. Let's make this. Um, Four by eight. Of course, that's a little bit exaggerated, uh, but I just want to show you what would happen. So there's the layout with the MFT top. Obviously, you're going to build something else. You're going to add partitions or whatever you're going to do there. And in that case, that disappears. But I'll show you how you'd eliminate that. What you can do is just split this uh, separator. There you go. And now here, let's just put our partition. Let's just, of course, you'd squish that to zero. But I want to show you something else here. Let's put a different insert in here. Let's go to a full four by eight hole pattern. There's a full sheet of drilling here. So I'll pull that in and there you go. You can see I got full drilling and that's parametric. And what I would do here, I can shrink this. Let's just shrink it to one for now, just to get an idea. I can still get in there quite easy. Um, so I can edit that. You can change setbacks, change spacings. You can see there. What I want to say here is you can shrink this up to zero. Still make your parts and operations. So that's just pretty cool. And of course I can make this smaller. I 
You can kind of see how these will disappear as they get close enough to the edge. But yeah, if you want to make a smaller table, you know, change your spacings if you want. What's cool is Mosaic is now eliminating the operation if it goes off the part. So let's go into this part here. Look at the top operations and you can see there's no holes that are off the part. Um, you can also delete holes. And so if I go into the insert here, I can still get into there. If I zoom in a little bit, select that stretcher, pull it down and edit it. I can go into my operations. You can kind of look at your thing here. I got the front center hole, you know, front, left, right, one, two, three, four. And then I got, you know, second row center. They're all clearly labeled, so you can easily delete holes if you need to, or copy or add more, whatever you want. But yeah, take a look at this, guys. Um, if you want to download it, it's on my website. Take it easy, guys.